Welcome back to the Get on the First Page of Google series on the Hey Jessica blog. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Yoast to boost your SEO. Now, if you're not using WordPress, you are seriously missing out on this amazing tool that I can promise you is a game changer as far as SEO goes. But it's okay, you can just skip over this part if you're not using WordPress, and we'll reconvene in the next lesson when we talk about some more neutral subjects. But right now, let's talk about Yoast and how it can help you get on the first page of Google. Okay, so this is going to be a super quick run through of how I use Yoast on every post because it rhymes and it's amazing. Um, Yoast, if you don't know, it's just a plugin for WordPress and you can easily install it on any WordPress site and use it to your heart's content. You can use it on listings in your shop, on posts, on pages, on really anything. Now there's a lot more that goes into Yoast other than what I'm going to show you today. So definitely, you know, don't just take this as all that there is. Um, and also, if you're interested in learning more about Yoast, I have a super cheap course called Yoast Mastery, which is just $39. Um, so if you're interested in learning a little bit more, you can find that at ohheyjessica.com forward slash Yoast. Okay, so this is one of my posts inside this SEO series, and it's the one on how to choose keywords for your post. So I just want to show you sort of how I worked Yoast into this post. <laughs> so how do you choose keywords is the title of my post. And if I scroll down into Yoast, you'll see that how to choose keywords is my focus keyword. Now, if you read this post, you'll learn how I chose those keywords. And you'll also see that I'm getting a green light on um, the keyword and the readability and in this overall setting here. So basically what I do is I find my keyword, I pop it in here, and then I go up and create a title for the post with the same keyword, or at least very similar. If I don't title my post with the same keyword, then I hit edit snippet and change that here. I also try and make sure as many of these little doodads are green as I can possibly get them, but they're not always all going to be green. Actually, I'm not sure they'll ever always be green or all be green, but you just need an overall green rating, not just every one of these green. So you'll see here that I only have one, two, three, four, five out of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have less than half of them as green lights and I still have an overall green rating. So I've chosen my keywords. I've I've edited my title and my snippet and I've tried my best to read what these say and make them green, basically. So, you know, if I could make it green, I did. Now, um, there are certain things like this. The focus keyword does not appear in the URL for this page. The reason I do that is because that would be too long of a URL for me. So I like to be able to remember my URLs and be able to reference them quickly. So how to choose keywords, I can just use choose keywords as my URL slug there. So there are certain things I choose not to do, and that's completely up to you. Um, I do add images that have the alt text done with the keywords, and the first post in this series tells you how to do that. Um, and that's basically it. Now, there there's a few other things I sometimes do um, with this, but nothing that you know, heavily impacts the way it r produces in a Google search. So basically that's all I do inside of Yoast and it is really amazing. Now to set up Yoast, you want to set up your whole site keywords to be correct. You want to add some keywords inside of the whole site and you want to use different keywords on each post and each page. But for the most part, that's sort of where we go with it. Thank you.